Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alex and, and welcome back everybody to the Crafting Dead server series. We are on Dead Island server number one and uh, before this video starts, I just wanted to let you guys know that this upload, if you guys haven't noticed already, is around 7 p.m. Eastern time. So that means I am actually working on doing double uploads uh, every day now. So that means you'll have a video at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time and also 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And that means a Minecraft Survival Let's Play in the early afternoon and uh, during 7 o'clock you guys will have a crafting dead video or some other type of post-apocalyptic uh, server of some sorts a series like either the infected RPG or decimation of some sorts I'll be you know talking about that in this episode and of course guys if you can all hit that like button that would be absolutely amazing you know let's see if we can reach 100 likes it's been a while since we reached 100 likes on a crafting dead video and uh, I want to see if you guys can still show your support on this series because uh, there's a few things I want to talk about and that is this series in general so as you can see you know we're getting started we're just walking around I'm not gonna be doing too much action-packed things today I really want to talk to you guys and kind of connect back to the basic survival of the server series if you don't remember when I first started doing the crafting dead on Atlanta it started off just as everyone being a survivor you know people weren't actually killing each other 24 7 and people were actually just really you know bonding and, and and trying to survive and for the most part there were people here and there that would go attack you however you know I kind of missed that aspect of the crafting dead and I wanted to try and bring it back in today's episode and see how it works out and that's why I went for this very basic oh we're getting what are we getting hit oh I'm probably gonna die already aren't I okay well that's great let me just eat some peaches and try to make a run for it back into the woods I don't know let's try to go this direction so as you can see there's my proof people are still killing just noobs and people for supplies and resources and it's just I get it but it's just kind of getting so difficult to just enjoy the server it's just every time you get on sometimes you're in a fight or you, there's gunfights but whatever about enough about that so what I want to talk to you guys mostly about was the fact that you know I'm, I'm probably gonna stop doing the challenges on the craft and dead because those are also kind of getting and taken away from the survival let's play uh just sorry from the survival crafting dead and because of that i'm going to try to survive like a normal survivor and just and look around look for some supplies and if i do find someone i'm gonna try to like you know not kill them right off the way and also i don't have any weapons at all I am just using the very basic supplies like a normal survivor, you know. I don't want to go into a shop and buy like guns and ammo and all this crazy gear because I feel like that also takes away from the enjoyment of the craft and dead in a post-apocalyptic world. You know, you kind of want to gather your supplies and I think that is the way I'm going to be going now for the craft and dead. But talking about the craft and dead, um... I'm probably going to still upload this on the daily with the uh, Minecraft server Let's Play, so I'm going to try for that. I'm going to strive for it. However, I'm looking to freshen it up a bit. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should take a, a break from the Crafting Dead um, and, and see if they bring back the survival world because it's gotten to a point where it just feels very repetitive. And like I mentioned before, it's getting to a point where people are just, you know, on here just to kill, like, with the guns, and that's pretty much it. So... With that being said, if you guys have any ideas about what I should do with this Crafting Dead series on the servers, let me know. If I should go to a different server and not be on Dead Island and try maybe go back to Atlanta or go to a different server by any chance, let me know because I'd be open to your suggestions, of course, because you guys love this series so much. I don't want to get rid of it. So we got a shovel here. Oh, there's a, there's a zombie in here. Let's take him out. We're using a baseball bat. Oh, what's this actually? This is a hazmat suit. How's that look? I ah, know we don't need it, but it's cool to just look around and see the supplies instead of going to a shop. And I like to go around and kind of see the builds around here and see if I can find any supplies to gather around because that's how I started off doing, you know, the Crafting Dead on Atlanta One when I first started doing the Crafting Dead. It was pretty much that way. People, I had, I don't remember people just going around all crazy and just killing people. So. I kind of missed that aspect, and that's why I just wanted to talk to you guys and get your feedback on it because I think it's time for a change. Because I noticed recently people have been kind of suggesting that, you know, this series is kind of dying down a bit because it's not as interesting anymore, but I think that's mainly because it's lost its survival aspect like it used to be in, in Atlanta. So I'm going to try my best to see what I can do, read your comments, get suggestions and feedback, and we'll go from there. Ooh, what, what's better? Damage? A shovel's better. So we're going to go with the shovel right now. I think that's doing a better, an old shovel does the trick here. Ooh, what is this? This is uh, an RBI syringe. Now, why is it orange, though? Does anyone know why it's orange? We'll probably have to check it out later. So we got some canned pickles. 
some other trash around here that we don't need. Let's just store the canned pickles inside there. Oh, we do have a can opener, so we can get ourselves the canned pickles and open them up. Why not? I think that's a good way to start off. There we go. Bam. Not bad, not bad. Um, also, you guys were also... I'm going to store those inside here for now because I don't really need them. But you guys were talking about bringing back the survival series of The Crafting Dead. Now, you guys have been asking for that as well. And, and you know what? I think it's a great idea. However, I want to wait for the update that Andrew's working on to add to the server. Or not to the server, but the survival world because they've been pretty much pushing that to the side but they are working on an update for it so that's what I'm waiting for currently at the moment so for now that's kind of what my whole approach is to this little survival series that you guys want me to return so I'm gonna wait and see once the update comes back out and then I'll probably return that because that is fun and plus we do have some cool plans that Matrix has been talking about and and pretty much RGA Donnie and I and, and Berzilla about a possibility of who knows bringing an crafting dead style smp which is like something different than an smp but you'll see i don't want to talk too much about it because i don't know the the facts stone cold but you know i have an idea about what it's going to look like so i think it'll be much better you know to spice up the crafting dead but of course i'm looking for feedback guys so comment sections go crazy i'm ready to read them ah oh, sweet an rbi cure that's not bad Okay, there's a zombie there. Anything here? Ooh, is this a better one? This is nine damage. All right, we're gonna use that. And I'm, oh, there's a guy over there. See, he's kind of surviving. Oh no, he has a lot of weapons. He is decked out. So I'm gonna say here, friend, friendly. So hopefully he doesn't attack me. That's the last thing I want right now is just some guy to just take me out in two seconds. But we're just gonna look around. We're gonna. Oh gosh, there's a lot of zombies. Oh no. Okay, okay, back off, back off. Okay, we're out of here. We're out of here. We're gonna go. We're gonna get the heck out of here. There's too many zombies. Okay, let me get that. Oh, I, I put it away. It's the syringe. If we were bleeding out by any chance or infected, I wonder if that would work out for us. Is the guy following us? No, he's not. All right, let's check out this gas station. It looks pretty cool. I want to see it. I want to see how it looks. The build. Um, looks like there's a broken down car. Looks like we could go inside. Okay, so there's some rope. Top hat. Don't need a top hat. Some iced tea is pretty good. Not bad, not bad. All right, what is this here? Hard hat. We can even pop on a hard hat maybe. I don't know. Is there something with the heart reduces headshots by 20%? And this is the same thing. All right, so we don't really need that, but I'll keep it there for the sake of having it. And then um, there's is actually a really nice spray paint for the P90. I actually looked at it before. So what can you do with this? Uh, craft splints and other useful tools. All right, that's cool. I want to see how you can use string in the future. I want to kind of try that for myself. All right, let's drink some soda. I think there's some more people down there. I can't really tell. But I don't want to go there because I did see someone and he had a lot of weapons. And I'm sure... He won't be so friendly. So I'm going to drink as much of this as possible and keep going along. So let's keep checking out this place. Now, of course, I talked about, you know, going and trying a different server. Let me know, guys, because I can I can try going back to Atlanta because I haven't been there on for such a long time. And you guys probably want a return. But that means I won't be on Dead Island. So I need one of the two. So I'm thinking about it, guys. I really am. So just give me a lot of feedback so I can get your suggestions. It would definitely go a long way. Now, what is this building? Looks like some type of lounge. I can't really say what it is. I don't. I really, really don't know what it is to be honest with you guys. Um, looks like maybe like a restaurant of some sorts. Who knows? I'm gonna take an empty blood bag. What else is around here? A hard hat. Looks like this is a register area. Let's see what it says here. There's blood on the floor. Well, yep, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what the zombies did for you guys. But uh, what else is there? Ooh, an ammo clip. What is a vector? I actually have not used a vector before, so I'm looking forward to trying that in the future. Let's just throw away some of the stuff that we don't need at the moment, or actually stored in our backpack. And also, as you can see, I am using very basic clothing here. Uh, I wanted to go with a, you know, kind of basic survivalist type look, and I think that's what I'm going to be going for. I don't want to have military gear unless I snatch it somehow from some place. But other than that, I kind of want to keep it very, very simple and, and back to what it, I think it should be, like how I had in my Atlanta series, which was always fun. All right, let's see what's in here. Can we go up? Is there a way up? No, there's not. Oh, there's, there's morphine, apples, fresh fruit here. That's actually really rare to find some fresh fruit in a post-apocalyptic world like this. So I'm going to probably keep the morphine inside my backpack and I guess the dirty rag, some of this ammo, because we don't really have any weapons right now. And some water. I guess we can store one fresh food. And there we go. We're still good. Actually, can you get up here? That's the real question. You can. 
Oh, sweet. Let's see if we can find any extra supplies. Anything? It doesn't look like this place has any spawn loot. Rooms 104 to 304. So this is a pretty big apartment, I guess. Very empty, so... Um, I'm anticipating not a lot of loot around here. Actually, probably nothing. And I think they're still working on this map as it's launched for everyone to go on. So that's why there aren't as many supplies and builds not really completely furnished and finished. But it's not a big deal. I can still manage with it. Uh, let's let's go around and see what else we can find. I know that I've been only, like, on the Dead Island, I have not really explored, like, the military areas or the airports of some sort. So um, I know there's... What is... How is the zombie inside the... <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right. Oh, did I hear someone? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, we can go in. All right. Now I see... Oh, there is a guy there. Oh, gosh. Okay, there's a zombie. Okay, I can deal with that. Oh, see, now we can get our supplies from the loot crates. So, more morphine. Okay. That's not bad. That's not going to be a bad case scenario. But I did see a guy with a lot of weapons and ammo. So, I kind of want to stay away from that as much as possible. Also, these are the new wells, as you guys can see there. You can fill it up with your canteens. Or I, I believe with the, um, yeah, canteens. So, that's actually really useful. I think that's also a really great addition to the update. However, I really do want people to start, like, you know, not killing everyone once they see him first sight because it's so tempting. But it's just it's gone to a point where that mentality is like, if I see someone, I got I got to kill him. So I don't like it. I'm trying to stay away from that as much as possible. I'm trying to survive. And if I do find someone, I'm gonna try to be try to be nice a bit, see if I can survive. You know, I'm gonna I'm not gonna go straight up and kill them. But I know a lot of people even do that. And the funny part is like, even when people spawn in with no weapons or anything, they still try to kill someone with like, you know, punching them. It just doesn't work, dude. <laughs> take it from me it doesn't work all right let's see what else is around here this looks more beaten down kind of oh i want to go to this this looks like the docks see i want to explore the docks area this looks pretty good um i would imagine there are a lot of people around here so i'm gonna keep it easy i'm gonna go find an area to settle down looks like oh my gosh there's a lot of deaths around here same person though so anything oh and miner's pickaxe is there someone down there no looks like this guy died over and over again should I be worried? I probably should be worried here. Looks like he actually just died recently. So we're going to keep it quiet. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Oh my. There you go. That's what I said. Called it. Uh, well, that's the crafting dead for you guys. Bandits. I feel like everyone is a bandit now. It's insane. Okay, we're going to do our spawn. We're going to go as a fresh spawn. Very rare for me to do this, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. Hey, there's a tank here. This is actually a pretty cool looking area. What's down here? Oh, no. Did I just... No! Are you can. Let's see if I can actually glitch up. Come on. Come on. Oh, I think I did it. Let's see if I can glitch up. Come on. Jump up. There we go. Oh, I just got out of that mess. Alright, GG right there. I think this is the airport if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Okay, this place is action just full of people. And for sure, if they see me, they will wipe me out because I'm a fresh spawn noob <laughs> right now. But it is okay. I want to see if I can get in. It looks like everything is blocked off pretty well. Oh, no. There's a way right here. Perfect. All right. Let's see if we can get in. Keep it quiet. I remember here last episode, there was a lot of people around here, and I actually died. Or that was two episodes ago. I'm not sure. Three, maybe? I'm not sure. Around that time, but it's intense. I think we can get inside these uh, tanks. I believe they have some areas to pick up some gear inside, if I'm not mistaken. No, but there's a G18. G18. With no ammo? Yeah, no ammo. Okay, that's that sucks, but it's okay. We can still find some supplies, hopefully. And we're getting close to the end of the episode, so if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button. Of course, let me know down below in, in the comment section some feedback about today's episode and also about the future of the Craft and Dead. I'd honestly be really happy to get some feedback from you guys. What is this? Desert shirt. That is actually new. That is actually kind of cool, too. I like it. Okay, looking good. The only thing is I don't have any melee weapon right now, so if we can find something, that would be great. I'm going to throw a flash. Let's run. Oh, that kind of got me a bit. Not a big deal. Does it actually slow down zombies? That's a good question. What's up here? <gasps> a vector. I did have vector ammo, though. Can I reload with this? No. What about this gun? Nope. Okay. Some more ammo. A helmet. Oh, gosh. That was smoke. Actually, that's not a big deal. I can just stand the smoke. Get our helmet on. So I do have some weapons, which is not a bad thing, but they don't use any of the clips that I have right now for the ammo. So we're going to have to work with that, I guess. What's down here? Bipod. Okay, not too bad. I could use a backpack, maybe some supplies. If I'm lucky, I think there's some people up in that tower. Uh, what's this? This is a flask. You can also use this on those wells as well. Okay, there's a lot of supplies here, so I'm going to snatch as many as I can. 
Can I reload this gun still? No. Why am I stuck here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why am I stuck here? What is going on? What is going on? Wait, what is going on? What the? Oh my gosh, that got me so messed up. Okay, that is pretty bad. That is That was pretty bad. Okay, back off, dudes. Oh, I'm infected. No, wait, I think I have it stored. Oh no, my backpack too got taken away after I died. Okay, I'm getting as much supplies as I can from here. And I'm going to live with whatever I got, you know. I'm going to see what I can find here. A Mac, a Sporter. Do any of these guns use any of this clips we got? No. Sporter, nothing. Oh, wow, this is really, really helpful. <laughs> Thank you. Is this a melee weapon? No, it's a trench gun. What was that? Let's see, what was that? Oh, an M1 Grand. Do I have M1 Grand clips? No, I do not. You gotta be kidding me. This is pretty... There's a guy right there. See? Hopefully he doesn't kill me. Hopefully he's going to be peaceful. About the whole scenario. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, dude. Easy, easy, easy. And there we go. <laughs> well, that sums up today's episode. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of The Craft and Dead, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, I know it wasn't action-packed, but that's the thing. I want to see if you guys are enjoying the survival more than just challenges and just me trying to get, like, you know, kill scores and all that good stuff that you guys kind of enjoy. But to me, it's just not bringing back the Craft and Dead vibe that I really did enjoy. But other than that, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Stay tuned for daily uploads. And also, I'll probably be returning the Infected RPG to the ser uh, to the channel as well. Also, stay tuned for Fear the Craft and Dead, which will be back on the horizons very shortly, guys. So thank you for the support. Stay tuned for more content. And thank you so much for all the comments and, and likes you guys have been showing on the channel. So peace out, guys. My name is Alex, and stay foxy.